In this video, we're going to figure out what the limit is as x approaches 1 of the natural logarithm divided by x minus 1. We can't just go ahead and let x equal 1 because we would have 1 minus 1, which equals 0 in the denominator and we can't divide by zero. So we're going to have to evaluate this limit using some other method. The method that we're going to use is called El Hopital's rule. El Hopital's rule basically says that if you have a limit as x approaches c of f of x divided by g of x, and f and g are both differentiable at c, and they're of indeterminate form zero over zero or plus or minus infinity over plus or minus infinity, then we can rewrite the limit as the limit is x approaches c of the derivative of f of x divided by the derivative of g of x. Now, the natural logarithm of x and x minus 1 are both differentiable at 1, and the natural logarithm of 1 is equal to 0. So we have an indeterminate form of 0 over 0, and both functions are differentiable. So let's go ahead and apply our Hopital's rule to this limit and see if we can evaluate it. So we have the limit is x approaches 1. The derivative of the natural logarithm of x is just 1 over x, and the derivative of x minus 1 is just 1. This simplifies to the limit as x approaches 1 of 1 over x, and now we can just go ahead and let x equal 1, as we're no longer dividing by 0, so we just have 1. And that's the final answer to this problem. If you found this content useful, make sure to like and subscribe. I hope you have a great day.